Oh my. Doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Now that you mention it, maybe. Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh, interesting. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the Blastia, too. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. So then, let's go! To the inn! He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well... Come on, we should hurry to the inn. Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm so excited about continuing our journey! This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. We're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. Well, just don't forget what we're out here for. I know. I guess I can't let things go either. Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Ba'ul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it. 
that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. He's a strange one. Well, shall we have a look around the town? We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. Repeat's an honorary member of Brave Vesperia too, isn't he? Of course he is. But everyone who joins the guild has to swear to uphold its laws, don't they? Well, in his case... What are you all worried about? Repeat knows the laws. <laughs> there have been lots of times when I just know Repeat understands what we're saying. I know how you feel. Yeah, I don't know. Well, how about it, Repeat? He just went to mark his territory. It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah, doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Miss Estelle! How have you been? Who is this? We helped these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Where's your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Q. Moore gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. Q. Moore? From the Imperial Knights? Yes, he is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial Throne is empty and all. But then... Then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is Father not coming back? Hey, Yuri. You're gonna ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well... Okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. Then if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Right. The Knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The Knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Remember? Careful!
I'd like to pass if I could. Sorry, no can do, buddy. The laborer's camp ahead is too dangerous. <laughs> Thank goodness. Knowing you, Yuri, I thought for sure you'd try to force your way through. Well, proceed with caution and all that. Boss's orders, you know. But how should we get by the guards? I really think forcing our way through would be the simplest and most effective way in. No, I won't allow it! All we need to do is draw the guard away from his post. But how will we do that? Maybe by, you know, seducing him with feminine wiles. Well then... Well, Judy, you're probably the best choice. Yes, I think so. Aren't you sure of yourself? Well then, shall we? Where are we going? To buy a dress, of course. I can't seduce anyone in these rags. <sighs> Isn't what you're wearing good enough? No, no, my pride would never allow it. I don't really understand, but she appears to be going to buy a dress. So she's going to see the peddler then? With Judas seducing the guard, this plan can't fail! I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, Carol. What can I do to be like Judith? Hmm? Did you say something, Estelle? Oh, no, just talking to myself. Excuse me, I'm looking for some fascinating outfits. Fascinating? Are you out for a date? Well, how about this? Ugh, how plain. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, how about this one? Nope. All right, then what about this? What exactly are you looking for? For example... <gasps> no way! I have nothing like that. Then could you possibly make one for me? Let's see... If you brought me a soft tail, basilisk scale, and a small bird feather, I could make you something nice. You should be able to get all of the items from the monsters on the outskirts of the city. Alright, let's go. Judas really into this, isn't she? Seems like she likes this sort of thing. Oh, you've brought the items. Wait here while I make you something nice. What do you say? Does it look okay on me? You didn't have to change your costume like that. So grown-ups are interested in these kind of outfits. All is ready. Let's go. Hey, are you seriously going out in that outfit? Huh? Something wrong with this? Well, I could see everything. Uh, never mind that. It's very cute, and I have a feeling that this is gonna work. Before that, could you do something about your outfit? Hello there. Oh, oops. Did you get an eyeful just now? No, I didn't see anything. I didn't even see if there was anything to see. Oh, is that so? That's a shame. Uh, it's a shame? Are you going to make me say it out loud? Uh... I've fallen madly in love with your big, strong, work ethic. 
Madly in love? Mm-hmm. So, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, um, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll just have to come out and make it clear. Would you like for you and me to have, uh, a little fun? Yeah, but... But uh, there's someone back in the capital I, I promised to marry. No, don't be such a stick in the mud. But I, uh, um... Good work. Can't believe adults can be easily fooled like this. And how long are you gonna stay in that costume? I guess this calls too much attention. I'll leave it at the shop. But what was the fun thing you were talking about? Going for a swim. All right, on to the next step. Huh? What? It should be easier to go in if you dress like a knight. Who? Me? Carol would work just as well. What? Me? Yeah, maybe you're right. Carol, you do it. You... you want me to dress up as a knight? But... will the suit fit me? Ugh! It's hard to move around. Don't worry, you'll get used to it quickly. I wonder... Hey! Quit goofing off over there! Uh... Huh? You should get back to your post before things get even more out of hand. No! You've got it all wrong! Wait! Let go! Help! Yuri! Why didn't you help him out? I, uh... was taken by surprise it all happened so fast. We should go and see what's happened. Could be going on in there. <laughs> Good question. Carol is in there, right? Yeah, suppose we should go take a look. Rita! Estelle, what are you doing here? Was it you causing all that racket in here? You guys... Do you think Carol's all right? Yeah, Carol. Carol! What, is that runt here too? What, you still want some? Hold up, Carol? Yeah! Rita, you suck! Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air credit. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the Knights and are being made to work. I bet Teagle's in there too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hope Loan Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. They wouldn't! You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's gotta be Q-more. 
There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once, at Ker Bakram. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others! Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... Um... You can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. Then we'll have the mages and Ospio come pick them up. Wait! We're being careful, right? But... One thing at a time. R right Okay, then let's get back to our original plan and head down. Okay. I'm impressed that you passed for a real knight, Carol, despite your height. It's amazing, especially considering he wasn't wearing a full suit of armor. That knight must have been so panicked that he didn't see anything besides your helmet. People usually notice things like that, though, right? Then why'd you put me up to this in the first place? Ah, my lord. Are you sure you shouldn't be going to the sands of Kogor now, sir? <laughs> I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. Using the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. And I hope you remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. You'll take those weapons I sold you and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Dawn is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, yeah? Don't go forgetting that. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do, but Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. The Union can't possibly hope to stop me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy with the weird hair looked over here and laughed. He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So now we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right, let's go free them from the idiots. All right, if we find anyone being forced to work, let's tell them to run. <laughs> What's with you? First you're panicked, now you're laughing. You're pretty moody yourself, Rita. You're not really one to talk, Carol. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm so glad we found you here. I mean, I gave up going back to the capital, so even if you had visited me, I wouldn't have been there. Oh, how sweet, Rita. You were gonna go visit Estelle. Uh, I wouldn't go to the capital just to visit someone. I mean, I have to report my findings on the air clinic. I just thought I'd say hi or something. I don't know. That sounds like an excuse for a visit with Estelle to me. You stay out of this! Oh, come on. We're all together again. Let's just be happy about that.
still. I'll make this quick. Who's here? And a group of those red eyes! Looks like Hugh Moore has become their new client. Hey, do you think that guy who talks all funny could be the red eyes boss? It sure looks that way from here.
Get to work! No slacking off, you worms! Look, that's... it's Teagle! If it's money you want, you'll have more than you can use. Now work! Work! Wait! Who? Yuri Lowell! What are you doing here? Uh, princess! You have no right to call yourself a knight. Brute force is not the way to honor the prestige of the Empire. Put down your weapons now. You will also release the people you have tricked into coming down here. This all might be easier if such a naive little princess were to simply disappear. All of your utopian ramblings make me sick. That's not the kind of thing someone with delusions of becoming Commandant of the Knights would say. It's you! You'll be all right now. Jaeger! Get rid of them! Yeah, my lord. Nothing personal, you see. Just business. Can't just let it go. You should dry off first. Yeah, I feel good. This power will make me stronger. I must admit, you're very strong. Sir Kumor, it's the Flynn Brigade. Flynn? Well, send him away. We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. Gosh, Dwight. Yes, Jaeger. This is our time to shine! I think we better be making the escape, yeah? Ah! What is this? Please, step this way. Move, move! Time to get a move on! We'll get you next time! What an original line. If we don't follow them, they'll... Wait! 
Our job is to rescue Teagle. But... I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? Everyone freeze! That's enough! Hey, just in time. Yuri! Can you get up? I yes Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will. And thank you. So we are going after them. Yeah, I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? Yeah. Plus, I think Estelle's gonna take off after him any minute. Sorry. Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going! All right. Yuri, wait! Gotta run, Flynn! Lady Estelise, this journey is far too dangerous for... <sighs> I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita! You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. Try harder next time. That man called Jaeger certainly had a unique way of talking. Unique isn't the word I'd use. I had a hard time understanding some of the stuff he said. An ancient way of speaking lost in this day and age. What? Are you serious? It would at least make a good story if that were true. <laughs> There's no sign of them.
Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we anyway? A forest in central Tolbikia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Q Moore? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Uh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh, Brave Vesperia, start explaining. Just about to ask the same questions myself. Huh? What the? What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven the Great. Who the hell do you? I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first, let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go. I'm so hungry! I'm dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too! I can wait, though it's been a little difficult. Hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? Take a nice long nap. <laughs> 